This used to be a pain in the ass for me to do, I remember that. You like jump just a little and throw it in there. There you go. Beep, beep, they're all dead. Alright, see if we can do this. It did the do! Okay, we did that. Now this is where the, some of the secret stuff is, because you're going to be shy quite a bit of points, so what you want to do is go jump into doodles, try and aim that right. Loads of crystals. Either it's four, five hundred or five thousand, I'm not really sure it's four, five hundred at the moment. Yeah. The planets count for fifty points, but they're not essentially required for score. So, you can get more than the needed score. So, there we go. Okay. Beep, beep. Ah. Grab that. There should be a crystal, yeah, right there. There's our next planet. But they're not called this well, I'm too lazy to learn it. I'm just, I just want to call it a planet anyway. It sounds cool. You pick up a planet. I mean, crap, I wish I could do that in real life. Hold a planet in the palm of my hand. That sounds like a game now. It's like a terrible Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, what you can do, if I've already shown it, is just plant bombs and kick them. So yeah, they'll go against the motion. You can do that. You don't need to in order to get up there, though. Hey, hey, ow! Damn, you hell blast. Good 20 minutes, so... Dude, not even cool. Don't do that. What? Oh yeah, we're back. <laughs> Sorry, I was focusing. And uh, when you whoa die, you're gonna have to re-get the planet. So uh, don't be surprised about that. What is that noise? It's scaring me. Oh, you'll see in a minute. It's kind of funny. You need to go here. Blow that up. Get your key, which actually looks like a key versus, uh, what was that one game that had the ridiculous looking keys? Jet Force Gemini. What the hell? You guys see how bad I suck at this game? Christ, I've died like three times already. Dude! What was that? You did that on purpose. I'll move this way. You get a game over. Oh, this is crap. I mean, I was taking it mellow first. Now it's just upsetting me. Now you have zero everything. Have fun. For the record, this game is not hard. I'm making it look like crap because I'm crap. See? Look at that. I almost died. Screw getting a perfect score on this level now. I don't even care. Leave me alone. No, we got a jump on you with our pointy heads. I don't know why. This always made me think of a phone booth. Yeah, screw getting a perfect score. I got my planet. I got my key. I'm getting the hell out of here. Another reason why I said I'm not going for 100%. I may not have the patience. But really, that level's not hard. It's just like... The jumping is almost like Star Wars. Or do you remember how Dash would jump for like 20 minutes and then land? That's what Bomberman does. He'll like jump and he'll like sway. He'll be like, I can go fell forward five feet. 
And if you try and turn me back, I'll like, still go forward. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I guess that's my only real excuse, other than the fact that I haven't played in a bit, but I mean, it's always good. I mean, I did play earlier today to try and get used to it again. I didn't play for long, but uh... Now this is going to require quite a bit of editing, so... Ugh. This level is real easy though, so... Also, another reason I'm not going for 100% is just because, to be honest, the water levels are the most annoying to do 100% runs on. You have to get, like, literally every centimeter of that place covered. You have to go... Oh yeah, I did kind of spoil it, but you know what? It's coming up. The next level is underwater, so there. I don't feel bad. I have no regrets. On top of that, you guys have seen the bloody preview from the intro of the game in the last part. At least I'm assuming it's the last... Yeah, it should be the last part by now. Bomberman's hurt by water. Dude, don't... I hate these bad guys. They're so annoying. Because you can never not get hurt. Careful, you nincompoop. Bahahaha, <laughs> Bomberman. Lovely Let's Play, lovely. Check out how he jumps up. He's like, who's your dude? Whoa. Oi, you need to back up with you and your eyes. Ow, oh, I've been killed. Alright, should be held somewhere. There it is. At least now I can take one hit before I die. Finally. Another thing I hate about gaming. Stupid freaking bubbles. I don't understand. I cannot fathom why bubbles hurt you in a game. Oh my god, I've been hit by oxygen in a liquid container. Such a pansy. I'm only going to show this once for each item, and that's it. In other words, I'm skipping it. And the bomber marine is probably going to be the one you use the most. There is one though that is probably my favorite, which I don't think you see until like the fourth world, the bomber shredder. I mean, I could be wrong, but yeah. And there is one you get in the next world, but yeah. You can swim forwards, you can swim backwards. But I promise you, the underwater worlds are the most annoying to do. It's cool. They got little seeker options, but these things, oh. You gotta make sure you can't F anything up. You gotta blow these guys up before they blow themselves up. In other words, you don't get points. I could really go for some health of that now. I'm not going 100% if one this level. Screw that, okay? There's Squidward's house falling down. Just, you, you want it? Search the place clean, high and low, every direction. I hate doing this. Oh, hey, shove off, crabs. I go, 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 go. That was the worst Mr. Crab impression I've ever done in my life. Maybe not entirely true. I've probably done worse, I just don't know. It. Also, the little score things for the underwater levels are usually really high, and they're usually like 6,000 points, so I don't, I'm not anywhere close to good on this. I am close to the end, but... According to the game, I'm not doing good. I, I've got half the points. And I'll give you little bosses. Look at this crab, he's so friggin' big!
And I do know that the little trick of withholding Z, I'll tell, or B, or whatever. The multiple bomb trick, I'll show you that later, though. Did I seriously? Okay, 7,000, excuse me. I'm just gonna show you guys that later. Alright, red cave. Alright, this one's got two exits as well. So, as usual, I'll do the first, the proper exit where you get more points first. This is probably more of the fun area rather than the first area because Skyrim is not hard, I promise you, it's not. I mean, it's annoying, yeah, because Bomberman's jumping and, you know, platforming skills. They don't go together too well, but... It's not hard. These, this area is more or less kind of like a cave world, I guess you could say. With floating platforms. There we go. There's your secret exit over there. I'll show you that in a sec. Eh. What I want to do is go up here, blow that up, and there's your secret exit. But when I was little, I always thought that was the only exit, and I never bothered looking over here, so I never knew how to get to the other level, so, yeah. I really don't feel comfortable right this. There we go. There, grab that gem crystal doodle. I call it what I want to call it. Damn it. Don't correct me. I've called Banjo Banjovi. Dude, that was freaking ice cube. You rang? No, not you. D ah! Okay, come on. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful work. Just head first dive into it. Shove it. To be honest, I never knew that platform was rotating until just a second ago. Shove it! Thank you! Buddha, I swear. We did what we needed to do. And I just realized I didn't talk at all during that. I probably should have. Alright, so here's our second mode of transportation. You'll see this a couple times, not loads. It's also kind of hard to uh, get a good amount of points. Only difference is you gotta like you can't go backwards at all, and you just got like they'll give you a loads of chances to get points. You just gotta be able to get them. That's basically it. Press A to speed up if you want to. Like they'll put bad guys like this flying about so you have something to kill or dodge. Those can give you points over some things off to the side. 